vitamin K is a coagulation factor. That's what I know. And uh, I, I mean, you know, she should tell us, you know, in a, in a broader perspective, I know what is, I mean, if it is not medical use, I mean, you know, let's say as a pharmacist, I see vitamin K shots. I mean, it's out and out vit uh, vitamin K. They use it in a, as a coagulation factor for, you know, some of the, uh, you know, coagulate, um, you know, disorders where people have, uh, you know, coagulation, let's say, uh, what do you call that? Uh, so what is coagulation in Lehman's term? Like normal blood clotting, blood, disorder, clotting right? disorder, in other words. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you have clotting disorder, you, you should that's, be taking... That's highly concentrated vitamin K tablets and, you know, injectables we, we see in a regular practice. But uh, um, probably, you know, she should help, you know, us understand, you know, what is vitamin K in terms of holistic, you know, let's say, uh, you know, from food, you know, from day to day, probably yeah. she should have better idea. Well, I would say for vitamin K, as you already said, it is its specific use is or the importance of it is for blood clotting. And so um, in day to day life, as what could like lead to blood clotting is having really high fatty foods, but fatty foods that are because there's two different versions of fats, there's like healthy fats and unhealthy fats. So having unhealthy fats, which are saturated fats, which you could find in a cheese steak. <laughs> um, but those, if you eat, it's okay to eat everything. Like that's the importance of a, a holistic diet in general is you can have an, like an unhealthier meal every once in a while, but it's, it's integrating whole foods and a different variety. So if you have some unsaturated or if you're having saturated fats, you also want to make sure you're having unsaturated fats. So then you're going to get vitamins like vitamin K, which are then going to help neutralize those saturated fats that you're um, consuming. And so then if you're not, and you continue to eat a unhealthy diet, then that's when you start to see like your arteries start to not function as well. And going a very like extreme, you could, that leads to a heart attack, for example. Oh, okay. okay. Essentially, uh, people who are, you know, um, uh, elderly, like, you know, 65, and you know, not even 65, I mean, some people who has a uh, uh, you mentioned blood, blood, blood pressure. You know, blood sugar. So usually, BP and uh, uh, diabetes are deadly combination. Where it can affect uh, um, kidney, it can affect heart. So, you know, at both uh, two organs at stake, and also the circulation. So usually, what, what happens? Um, a lot of these, uh, you know, uh, patients they take blood thinners. So like uh, Zeralto, uh, you know, Prodaxa, Eliquis. Um, you know, some extreme cases, some people who are already, you know, advancing, deteriorating, um, you know, functions of uh, um, kidney or, you know, they're, you know, some people, they, they are uh, candidates for the transplant. So they are on uh, some kind of injectable, you know, blood thinners. So we always uh, uh, get a question, what to, what to eat with it, what to, what not to eat with it. So um, now that, uh, you know, the, you know, the point of vitamin K came into picture. Uh, so. Um, and all kale, you know, cabbage, and you know, some types of, uh, um, you know, collard greens, you know, lettuce. So you know, we we tell them to avoid it when you're taking that, you know, this type of medications, especially blood thinners. So what happens? Let's say uh, these factors go in, and your, uh, you know, the dosage what doctor prescribes becomes a little bit. Let's say if somebody is getting a five milligrams of some medication, and you eat it constantly with kale that becomes 10, 10 milligrams and that leads to side effects right. of that medication. So, yeah. so, so, so in other words, um, let's say if somebody has a need, a, these drugs are like, a, they make only 5, 10, 15, 20 milligrams example. I'm just throwing an example. So if somebody needs one milligram of one medication, it's not available. Doctor will wait till you develop that condition to go to five milligrams and then he prescribes. So the damage is already done. Okay. To some, Sam's point, if somebody realizes, hey, uh, you know, you know, they, they, especially patients when they go to the doctor, they discuss, hey, you need vitamin K, you need right. this vitamin, um, you know, to supplement it with these, these, these things, right? So um, apart from what they eat, and you know, you cannot eat the foods which has vitamin K on a daily basis, right? You need to supplement it somehow. With over-the-counter or some some with prescription pills, so if somebody needs one milligram, 
So they, they, they need to understand, hey, you know, I need to supplement it with food so that I don't go, you know, escalate myself to a point where I have to take five milligrams of that pill. Right, exactly. So that's yeah. where your holistic medicine comes in. So that's why yeah. people need to understand how these things works around yeah, medication yeah. Yeah. As, as a whole um, yeah. to keep themselves healthy and, you know, active uh, overall well, well-being. Yeah, thank you for saying that. 